The groundwater flow model will arrive in a trunk containing the following. The model itself with two wooden stands, a pump, an Erlenmeyer flask, Nalgene bottles, rubber stoppers, squeeze bottles with food coloring. Model user guides and activity suggestions for all grade levels are included in these red and blue binders. The model itself represents a cross-section of the Earth's surface. At the surface are two impressions. The shallow impression on the left represents a wetland or lagoon. The deeper impression on the right represents a lake or a river when the tubing clamp at the back of the model is allowed to release. An artesian well enters at the left side of the lake. There are a series of injection observation, and pumping wells across the front of the model. To the far left are three injection wells immersed within the sediments. Using the squeeze bottles, dye can be injected into these wells, with the contaminant showing up subsurface at three locations. The other injection well is located at the leaky underground storage tank on the left side of the model. Observation wells are viewable from the front of the model. Water table levels are observed through these transparent wells. Dyes should not be injected directly into them. Three observation wells are located on the left side of the model, one in the middle and two on the right. The pumping wells are identified by the rectangular casing at their base. These fine poured casings filter out grains of sand and sediment as water is pumped from the well. Dye should not be injected into the pumping wells. The model has two outlets. One releases water from the lake to simulate a stream. The second is located on the lower right side for draining the model. To begin using the model, place it on the two wooden stands, making sure both outlets are closed. The Nalgene bottles are used to recharge water into the model. Fill them with water and place the rubber stopper on the bottle. At each end of the model, invert the bottle to fill it with water. The more concentrated the dye is, the more you will need to pump to clean up the model. Therefore, only place a few drops into the squeeze bottle. Use the squeeze bottle to inject food coloring into the underground storage tank. When the tank is filled, you will be able to see how the contaminant spreads. Place the tip of the squeeze bottle in the injection well on the far left of the model. Squeeze the solution into the well until you can see the contaminant enter the system. If you wish, you can repeat this process in the other two injection wells and observe the subsurface location of the contaminants. Each injection should result in a visible spot of at least one inch in diameter. When you're finished with your demonstration, the dye should be flushed out of the model as soon as possible. Release any remaining water from the lake by unclipping the clamp on the back side of the lake, allowing it to flow into an empty container. Any colored water remaining in the lagoon can be pumped out before it migrates into the sediments by placing the pumping tube directly into the lagoon. Close the lake outlet. Pour clean water on the surface sediments and the rest into the side recharge areas. Pump three to four bottles of clean water through the model using all pumping wells until all traces of dye are removed. If possible, let the model dry out for a couple of days before shipping. Return the model and other supplies to the trunk, making sure the model has packing on top to keep it together if it gets tipped over. We hope you enjoy using the groundwater flow model. Please don't forget to complete the checkout form before you return the model. 
If you have any questions, please contact us.